Now, if you watch, now if you watch my playthrough of Deliver Us the Moon, then you will know exactly what we're about to get into because there's been a secret release called Deliver Us Mars, and this is going to be the first in a series of videos where we're going to play through the game. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Deliver Us Mars. If you're not familiar with this series of, of games, this is a story-driven, um, like, space adventure type of game um, where you, we're gonna go probably solve some kind of mystery. And I did a playthrough of the first game in this series called Deliver Us the Moon. Now we're playing Deliver Us Mars, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Moon Bear 1, this is Ground Control. Mission is a go. That's the copy. Hello, Earth to Kathy. <laughs> and a little explorer. Hey. Now, I finally managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Right, but before I give it to you, you oh. have to promise to take better care of it. Okay. Okay, tutorial time, I guess. Walk forward, backwards. Mouse to look around, pretty, yeah. Left control for crouching. And sprinting. Okay, that's pretty intuitive. And what else? Oh, there's a space helmet there. I just want to show you guys something. Hold on. Look at this. Francia sent me a moon bear too. Uh, whenever they come out with new games, they often send some kind of like promotional things out, and they sent me the moon bear that that's also in the game. That's quite nice. I was wondering what that had to do with the game and it would actually show up. But it did. Okay, um, I guess this is the father's room. Hold on, there's a tablet there. Oh, we can interact with it. No, that's... Oh, this maybe this is... No, hold on. Maybe this is the mother? Because the tablet ID... Claire? Oh, will you look at that? That's one thing I remember from Deliver Us the Moon. It was a very, very pretty game. Anything here we can interact with? From, from what I recall, this game really does reward you for exploring around. So that's why I am kind of looking around before I move out. Great property, just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. Honey, the kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Van Zandt has denounced the violence, stating that... Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Okay, we're beginning to build a bit of story. Um, so we know, of course, the dad is, is apparently there's a moon base and he commutes to the moon and there's just some kind of weather thing going on since they're considering moving, so... I'm Taking moon bear snorkeling? <laughs> yes. I know, dad, don't worry. Oh, okay, Claire Come is uh, is the, the sister, got it. Okay, bye dad, love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad catches you. Come on. We can't go snorkeling with the moon bear. That's that's. Oh look at that <laughs> rocket. <laughs> Space bar to jump. Okay. Uh, Got it. What did I say? But moon bear wants to go snorkeling too. Bring me the bear, that you little troublemaker. <laughs> no. I swear, you get this cheekiness from your mother. Come on, Kathy, jump in. Uh, snorkeling equipment, maybe? I guess. Let's go. Wait, did she just... Did I help it on like that? 
Or maybe that's okay. End of tutorial. Fair enough. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to get you out of there now, okay? Wait, what? We are on the moon, I guess? Come on. He's in a spacesuit. Dad? It's all right, I'm in, I'm in. I've got you, I've got you. Listen, from there, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Nice. Just listen to me. You have to go. You have to go. How are your legs? Can you walk? Where's Moon Bear? don't have time for that now, darling. I want Moon Bear. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. Okay. Let's find Moon Bear. Oh, oh, I see him. It's right there. Found it. Great. Now, now, come to me. I need your help. There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Okay. This one? Now, Moon Bear. Okay, Something. it's time to go. Oh, door, of course. Extend the tutorial? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We're crouching now. Stay low, darling. Don't let them see you. Bad guys. Okay, let's go. I am wondering okay, what's going listen on. Listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose's ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay. Okay, we can crawl up. They're not taking us with them. Don't you see that? They're leaving a physical here. We're... So they were... All planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace! Ace! It's me! Hi! Follow me. We've got to hurry. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Out of this game so late, you have no idea what's going on. Claire! Dad! That was Claire! Hey! Hey! Why are you running away? If Claire catches us, they'll take the far away. Wait, Claire? That's the sister. She's with the bad guys? I'm confused. The dad's not gonna get away, is he? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go on a rocket. Big rocket. Why isn't Vita's door opening? Come on, come on! Uh, we can open the door, but I'm not sure. He said. I'm not so sure. Uh, is there anything else we could do? I need to get that door open. Follow me, quick. Ah, uh, it's so enough. Okay, wait. So I'm not sure what what would have happened if we turned it and opened that door, but. Okay, just abandoning me, I see. Fair enough. Save your own skin. Now. Back to the 
about that door. <laughs> what would have happened if I opened it? I have a feeling the outcome would have been similar because it feels like that's kind of a keystone event that you get separated from your dad in the beginning of the game, but not sure. Uh, yeah, this thing definitely yeah, <laughs> has seen better days. Okay, T to watch objective. Fix the MPT dish. Clear the obstructions. Oh, we have a mission marker. Down there, I guess. It's very handy. Something there. Um, I wonder if we need to do anything with that icon there. No, it's still it's still below us, so let's keep going down. Oh, we can crawl up here, okay. Oh, oh okay. Obstructions. Oh, we need to cut it there. Cut it. Okay. It doesn't like stick to it, so we actually have to aim. Nice. We got the visible right, radio wave now working. Let's get the stream points hooked up, and then we're done. Some stream points hooked up. Okay. Why are we? Why are we doing that? More down, got it. Uh, there's a cable here. Oh, there's a screen. Nope. Objectives are more down. Oh, oh, there's a ladder right here. Great. Found a way we could get further down. Follow the wires, I guess, maybe? We need to hook something up, so that sounds like we need to plug a cable in somewhere. So... Yeah, that's a dead end, so further down, I guess. Down, down. Is there, oh, there's another of these power icons. So we probably need to get it to there somehow. Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. Oh, oh, that's the guy we're talking to. Uh, in here, maybe? We can cut something. Oh, we need to cut this thing open? Seems like it should be an easier way to do that. Open the blinds. Server racks. Oh, something here. We got a laser thing. My guess is laser thing needs to be pointed at that thing. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. How do people cope before stream tech? Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. Yeah. I remember it well. Good times. Okay. Just gotta find the receiver point have to connect to check. it to. Have to check. What happens if you jump into it? Nothing. Okay, it's harmless. So that is basically wireless power transferring. Got it. So now what? Oh, there's more stuff here. Hold on. Oh, those need to be powered too. Is there like a, a thing in here? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So you go there. Got it. And then... We somehow need to find a way to get power to there. Um, where is the more of these bike power power guns? Can we see it? We can see it from here, so I could potentially maybe I need to take this instead of pointing that over there. Oh, hold on. Do I can I then move this one over there? Maybe. Can you go away? I can't see anything. Yes, we can. Okay. And now the gate is open. Wonderful. Hello? Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, that must be really serious. Can I tag along? Uh, no. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. People rioting or zombies, I'm not sure. But at least it seems like Earth is a bit of a mess at the moment. Kind of plays into the whole thing we heard at the beginning that the whole climate on Earth is messed up. And people probably try to escape to someplace else, my guess, better than Mars. There's a meeting, there's a secret meeting, and we are definitely gonna go in. So. WSA is what? Ah, according to the little batch on the Moon Bear, WSA is the World Space Agency. So it's not. It's All like right. a combined. Let's go find another way into Maria's office. Yeah, we'd have to go into the meeting. That's good <laughs> lying, Ayla. Let's go. Uh, but. No, not a button. Ooh, big globe. Ooh, so we can find points of interest and scan them. Okay, got it. Everything else. Right now it's very railroady, that's but I'm expecting I mean, the game is very railroady. Like it's it's not encouraging you to explore in the sense that that there's a lot of like um open world places to go. When you do follow a linear path through the story, it is a story driven game. But there are things for you to find. The museum. Yeah, we can cut through here to Maria's. Might be fun to have a look around too. I've been I, here in ages. I concur. Ooh, old moon buggy. Look at that. Moon base. Well, let me guess. The in little car. The lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT, giving his life in the process. Yeah, that was definitely the uh, the first game. Was all the, the the like restoring power thing, and they used these big antennas. Now I recall to move power around. After the Great Blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Mm. Robertson under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. They really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. Yeah, yeah okay, so they're just giving us a recap of the first game. This is actually a, <clears throat> a nice way to do it. I kind of like that, that they just, they give you the backstory if you haven't played the first game by, if at least if you want to, spend the time in the museum and, and look through the, the exhibition. Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all Moonbase residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARCs. The location of the traitorous council members, as well as the rest of the Moonbase crew, remains unknown. Was that spaceship parts out there? I mean, that looks like a cockpit, that looks like engines. Yeah, that's definitely spaceship parts. Question is, hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> We're up to no good. Okay, I guess we have to cut some things away. Is 
Is that enough? That is enough. Okay, we are in. And there is a button. I guess that's to move that platform. Hold on. We came in there. Should just identify where we want to go. Oh, we probably want to go up there. So if I stand here... Okay, maybe if I push this one. Aha! Aha! Oh. Now what? Can I have a jump up? Oh, 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 I can get into the Evans there. I can hear the meeting from the Evans. Ah, hold on. Yes! We are totally gonna go spy on the secret meeting. Glad there's no security cameras. Okay. Control. Oh, can we? Oh, hold on. Okay. And up and down. Okay, pretty intuitive. We need line of sight on the conversation layer. Flashlight was where? R. R is flashlight. Okay. Whee! Here. Absolutely certain. So it must be them. I assume we can find it just by Mission Opera then? Yes. Mission Opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan, should we discover Albert's location. During Mission Vestia, we found indications that the three ARC vessels Albert used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three ARC actually form a tribe. Of course, they're, they're colonization they ships. Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the Arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. Of course. <sighs> Why do I feel like these are the bad guys? Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Okay, so the dad who went to Mars apparently 13 years um, with all these ARC ships seems like they built a base these guys want to go and take whatever technology they have um, I don't know, I don't feel like, like we're the good guys right now <laughs> um, we need to find a way into that room, okay never mind Perfect. Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? <laughs> Ayla? What are you... Assemble a team and bring those arcs back. 
You have a few months to prep. Now I get it. We cannot afford further delay. I'm sorry. Now I get it. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. At least one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk Kathy, of sounding like an idiot. Kathy. Kathy. I think we should take Kathy. Yeah. What? 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 Go what? Ryan. She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors Why involved. Do you do this? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what, three other trained astronauts to choose from? So. <laughs> what the fuck, right? should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though look, Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now. Kathy. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Okay, so I gathered a lot from that last cutscene. First of all, the message was obviously from her dad, Moonbear Moonbear. It seemed to do something to Ace, the robot. Some kind of trigger word. Something's going on. I think he, he did something to that, that, uh, that, that robot. Um, and he sent that as a kind of a trigger. Not sure. The other thing I got gathered was these arc ships is likely some kind of um, colony ship that helps the technology to terraform a planet. It would make sense to send that to Mars to terraform it, but since Earth is now deteriorating rapidly, they need that technology back on Earth so that they can terraform Earth again, if that makes sense. I think that's kind of the whole plot. Whether we are the good guys right now, I'm not actually sure. Now I know today's episode was very heavy on cutscenes, I'm expecting the game to open up a lot more, we're gonna get a lot more gameplay in, in the coming episodes, but the game is building a world, it's building a story here in the beginnings, so that's why it is cutscene heavy. But I do hope you're gonna follow this series as we're gonna keep exploring the story, figuring out what on earth is going on on Mars.